The weather is getting warmer and it's time to move outdoors to paint. Hey, welcome to my studio. My name is Chris and in this video, I'm going to share my plein air watercolor setup for on location painting. Let's get started. The foundation of my plein air setup is my easel. This aluminum travel easel is lightweight, quick and easy to set up, highly adjustable, and very sturdy. It's everything you want in a plein air watercolor easel. Details and links for all the products I will show in this video are shown in the description below. Next is this handy tripod shelf by N Plein Air Pro. It's made out of rugged ABS plastic. It's about 10 and a half inches deep and almost 16 inches wide. It holds two watercolor containers and numerous watercolor brushes. Again, the link is below. I use these simple sour cream containers to hold water. They fit perfectly in the tripod shelf and they're inexpensive. The only disadvantage, they're not collapsible, so they take up a bit more room in your travel bag. I have lots of palettes in my studio, but the one I like the most for field painting is this one by Magello. Check out my video on this channel that provides an extensive review of this product. I'll link it below. Finally, I always bring along a masonite board like this one. I tape my watercolor paper to it and I'm all ready to go. Here's my plein air gear all set up and ready for painting. As you can see, there's plenty of room on the shelf to hold the palette and other supplies. I clip paper towel to the shelf. The brushes fit nicely in the holes along the edge of the shelf. The head of the tripod easily adjusts to almost any angle from horizontal or flat to nearly vertical. This adjustable painting surface is essential for watercolor. So I encourage you, get outside with your watercolor paints. There are lots of benefits to painting on location. Number one, it gets you closer to your subject to experience it in a different way with all of your senses engaged. Secondly, you can more accurately see the full range of colors and lights and shadows when you're in that setting. A photo just can't capture that. Number three, painting on location requires you learn to paint more quickly to record what you see before it's gone. And number four, all of that in turn will cause you to simplify your scene to just its essential parts. This can make a more powerful painting. If you found this video to be helpful, please like the video and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks and have a great day.